We're back! Hey! Wait, where are the Toa? Right here in this box. They maybe fell unconscious. They were a little tired. You guys are awesome! Thank you so much! Well, I don't mean to brag, but <laughs> it was all me. Yeah, right, skinny bones. You wanna fight? Regardless, we're just glad that they're safe. Time! What are you doing? Colta just said they were unconscious. Yeah, I know, but wait, what are these? Well, it turns out Voltraz was actually storing some weapons for himself, including Umarax weapons and a couple of old ones. Golly, look! My trident? Huh, Voltraz must have taken it from me. So I guess this means that the mission was a success. It is good to see that the Toa have returned safe and soundly, thanks to you, Colta and Destroyer. Oh, and uh, another thing. There wasn't any sign of those Rakshi anywhere. Voltraz must have taken them in or something. Either way, I'm glad the Rakshi were taken care of. Otherwise, we might have had a bigger problem on our hands. Tarduk? Eh. Everyone, everyone. Vol Voltrez, he's, he's dead. Uh, what a nap. Well, I feel all better now. That's good to hear. What the? Is that? Oh, no. And now that I understand that you- Oh, Marak! Uh, uh, Tahu, hold on one second. I'M GONNA RIP YOU APART- Ugh. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Umi's got a little... boyfriend. Shut up. If you do anything to him, you'll have to deal with me. Who the frick are you? I am Toa Kiru Nakoto. I come from another time and place. Trevor, weirdo. Ikimu, you're not seriously gonna let Umarak stay down here with us, are you? Tahu, he's changed. A gill can sense it. Kierman is pure of heart and has shown Umarak a way to peace. Unbelievable. And to think, after everything he's ever done, whatever. He seems mad. Like I said, I've done some bad things. He deserves to be angry with me. Don't stop believing. Hold on to the feeling. Street lights. People. Okay, that's it. That's good. Ah, oh, frickin' frick. I'm just gonna rip these guys apart anyways. It's freaking useless. Frick me, I just wasted like 60 bucks on Star Wars stuff. So I wanted that. Fudaiku wa doku desu ka? Hey buckaroo, can't understand a single thing you're saying. Do you speak American? Watashi o tanoshimasu? Watashi wa anata no shi o kutsu ni sa simasu. Quit your whining, I'ma lob your damn head off. Watashi wa anata ga tame tashite miru no ga daisuki desu. Hey! New sets! Star Wars sets are here! Yay! Celebration time! Would you mind scatting, you little munchkin? Look at this! It's so beautiful! Kare wa watashi tachi o kange shiu to shite amasu. Oh, you guys must be sets from different countries. Alright, well I'm Narmoto, the protector of fire. Follow me around and I'll give you a tour. So, let's just let uh, bygones be good bygones and follow this midget around, alright? Tashi kani. I'll take that as a year, so let's get moving. You know, you don't always have to follow me around, right? What else am I supposed to do? Go socialize with the other sets. I've got something to do. See you later.
Well, all right. I guess I'll just find something else to do. <clears throat> uh, hi. Well, if it isn't Umarak the Hunter, what may we do you for? Uh, well, I was kind of hoping that I could talk to him. What, you mean Golden Boy? Yeah, go right ahead. Just don't expect him to talk back or anything. Hasn't talked in months. All right. Thank you. <sighs> well, now. Look at yourself. Look who's standing over who for once. You know you put me through hell. You lied to me. You forced me to do things that were immoral. <laughs> and if I was still evil, I would kill you right here. But I'm not that person anymore. It's what I would have done before. It's what you would have made me do. I should have never listened to you or Voltrez or anyone. I should have been my own person. Not taking orders from anyone else but myself. So, rest easy, Ikimu. I hope your soul gets dragged to the pit. You rat. And now, boys, this is where you'll be stationed up with the trooper squad. There, scout. Hey there. First order, trooper. Sup. Your commander. Hello there. Cody. Greetings. And Scarif. Oi. I'll let you all get acquainted with each other. Mina-san. Konnichiwa. What the heck is that? Don't mind him. He's just some damn orient. You sound incredibly racist. I'm Pilot Trooper. He's Praetorian. And we're happy to be new members of your squad. Hey, Matanui, are you okay? Hello, Levakal. And yes, I feel fine. Why do you ask? Well, I don't really know. It kind of seems like you're a little depressed, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, to tell you the truth, Levakal, I... I don't know. I should feel happy that Voltraz is defeated and everything seems peaceful, but something's off. Not everything is lining up. I don't know what it is. Well, I just wanted to check up on you, Montanui. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Yes. Goodbye, Levok Call. I get it. I understand. I did a lot of bad things to you, and I completely understand that. And I also understand if you'll never forgive me, it makes perfect sense. And trust me, if I could turn back time, I would definitely make sure that none of this happened. I would never fall under the influence of Akimu or Voltrez. I would be my own person, and I would fight with all of you. When I first met you, I won't lie, I thought you were quite funny. Of course, I had alternative motives, ulterior missions. Stuff that I had to do first. Take your golden masks, do everything for Akimu and Voltraz, make sure that every part of the plan was perfect so that the League of Seven would reign supreme. But I understand that it was all just stupid. None of it made any sense to me. I was just doing what I had to do in order to survive. But now that I look back on all of it, I see just how stupid I was. To believe in someone like Akimu, or Voltrez for that matter. That's why, Tahu, I hope you can forgive me for all I've done. And I can definitely forgive you for all you've done. <sighs> I have done certainly more bad than good, but I hope that you'll see that I'm not trying to be evil. I was simply following orders. And again, I hope you can come to learn that I never meant any harm. I never meant any of it, so I hope that you can forgive me later, because you don't have to now, preferably later. <laughs>